What's up ladies and gents, this is Casey Kid coming at you with another Destiny video. Today we're talking about the truth, the truth, and nothing but the truth. That's right, Jure is selling the truth, the exotic PvP specialist rocket launcher. And some people are asking whether they should buy it, whether the truth is worth it. So we're going to talk about if the truth is worth it. And if you enjoy this video, go ahead and smack that like button and subscribe to the channel. Now honestly, I would like to say that in Trials of Osiris, we see people doing the weapon swap to the truth on the heavy round. That's really never my style. Nothing against the people that do that or don't do it. It's just not what I do. If I'm rocking out the truth, it's because I'm going in with legendary weapons to begin with, and that's what I want to rock out, being that I just have an open slot for a heavy. And that's what I'm using right now, because I never really utilized the truth a whole lot. I was using a machine gun, most recently in the Taken King, because machine guns are amazing. But there's a lot to be said for the truth. So I just want to talk about it a little bit, and then kind of give you a little bit of an idea as to whether or not it's worth spending your hard-earned strange coins on, because some people have very limited strange coins. So the truth has its special perk here, Prototype True Seeker, and it is amazing. If you're aiming down the sight and locking onto the target, you'll hear a little beeping, and whenever you then fire off this rocket, it won't just track like a normal tracking rocket. It will make curves and go all over the place looking to find the enemy to kill them. That plus grenades and horseshoes is going to make this rocket launcher extremely good at defeating any enemy guardian in its path. I like to use Javelin. Heavy payload will give you that increased blast radius, but it's already got a really, really nice blast radius as it is. So the increased velocity is what I would personally go for. So this weapon isn't going to have any problem with dispatching any enemies in your path, as long as they are in PvP. In PvE, it's a little bit of a different story. But in PvP, whenever you pick up the heavy, you get three rockets. If you have specific gear, like I was rocking out on my Warlock gear to carry extra rocket launcher ammo, I was actually able to carry four rockets. So that is really nice. Let's quickly talk about PvE. And what I'll say in PvE is that right now, in PvE, nothing is like it was in Year 1. In Year 1, the Yalahorn was the weapon to have in the heavy slot for PvE. Right now, there's really nothing that rockets can do that you wouldn't be better served off with with a heavy machine gun, with the sleeper simulant, or with an exotic sword. So rocket launchers in PvE really aren't that big of a deal, and rocket launchers taking up an exotic slot in PvE even less so. In PvP though, definitely amazing. Now when I'm in PvP with a heavy machine gun, I typically kill three, maybe four enemies with a clip of heavy machine gun ammo. And that's because I do tend to waste a whole lot of ammo. That's just what I do. I waste ammo a whole lot. So if I'm alive, I might be able to kill three or four with one clip and then reload and hopefully get another two to four with that. So with heavy machine guns, you definitely have more potential to kill more enemies. But you have to stay alive the entire time as opposed to with a rocket launcher. Obviously, it is one shot, and if you get a good shot, you get one enemy down, or if they're grouped together, you get a double down, or maybe a triple down. <laughs> but that would be if you are really lucky, and you can't really count on that. So overall, your killing potential is definitely lower with rocket launchers, but the nice thing is that you only have to pull the trigger once to potentially get somebody down. Only once, and that grenades and horseshoe perk it is really one of those things that is just vital on rocket launchers. In PvP, grenades and horseshoes is the way to go. It's not about the tracking. Though <laughs> that tracking is really nice, but that's because that is on the truth. That's because that's on the truth, and it also does get helped out a lot by the grenades and horseshoes. If that rocket is somewhere near an enemy, it is going to explode. I don't need to actually hit my rocket on the enemy or need to shoot it at a wall right near an enemy in order to get the kill. So just something to keep in mind. The truth, it's a killing machine. It is a killing machine, and it does some really funky things, and it'll make you laugh, and it'll make you cry if you get hit by it, for sure. But is it worth it? Is it worth buying if you have very, very limited strange coins? And what I will say is that no, it is probably not. I would look at the truth as a luxury item. If you're limited, if you're just starting the game, if you're looking for how to build your own arsenal, you would not want to start with the truth. You want to start with a primary weapon. You want to start with a special weapon. Something that you're going to utilize a lot more. Because the truth is very situational in PvP. 
You need to have that heavy round. You need to have that heavy ammo spawning. Other than that, it is just a paperweight in your inventory. But if you have nice legendary gear, if you've got a really nice legendary primary weapon that you like, if you've got an awesome sniper rifle that you love, or an awesome shotgun that you already love, then the truth is a really nice way to just kind of fill out your arsenal. It's a really nice way because whenever that heavy ammo comes around, you're going to be able to have a weapon that is pretty much the best of the best at what it does during the heavy round. There's really nothing else that's going to be able to compare to the truth whenever you're just jumping around in the air, shooting off these rockets and getting those kills. And yes, you won't be getting as many kills as you would with your heavy machine gun, but you're going to be able to get them. You're going to be able to get them much easier and much quicker than you would with the heavy machine gun. You just have to jump in, see an enemy, pull the trigger, jump out of the way. Hopefully before you get hit by a rocket or in opposing truth. <laughs> also, I've come to really enjoy having the extra rockets that the truth provides. Again, starting with three rockets or potentially four is nice. When I was actually utilizing my last word and had to use my JLB Suros rocket launcher, that only had two rockets in it. And man, I felt that I was very, very limited. But the truth, four rockets, that's really nice feeling. That's pretty good feeling. Four rockets is pretty solid for heavy ammo. You can definitely get some better kills for sure. So. Let me know, whenever you rock out the truth, do you actually go into battle with the truth? Or do you just switch to the truth whenever it's heavy ammo spawning in? Do you switch to the truth when it's just the heavy round in Trials of Osiris? How do you utilize it? What do you feel about the truth in general? If you get killed by a rocket and you see, oh man, it came from the truth, what do you think? Do you immediately get ticked off? Do you immediately say there is no way that rocket could have tracked me and hit me from all the way over here? <laughs> That's typically how I feel when I get killed by it. But it is a lot of fun. I do enjoy this gun. This is the most that I've ever played with the truth before, and I enjoyed a lot. But I would say it is definitely a luxury, not a necessity. Anyway, guys and gals, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, smack that like button. Subscribe to the channel to keep updated on daily Destiny content. Check out these awesome videos. Good luck with your raids, your drops, your PvP, and I'll see you around in Destiny. Give me the truth, guys. Give me the truth, gals.